back. I am finally done with my hair. Here's how it turned out. Yes, I did decide to go ahead and cut it because to be honest with you, you really just have to do what makes you happy. I was growing my hair out, but like, it just wasn't really doing much for me. And like, I would do polls on like, if I should cut it, if I should keep it. And everybody was like, keep it, grow it out. But it just wasn't like giving to me. And then finally I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut it cause that's what I like. So I'm gonna do what I like and I cut it. And so I couldn't be any happier. Of course, y'all know my mom does my cuts. I'll put her information in the description below. If you're in the Atlanta area, here is the cut. Here's how it turned out. I am so in love. And like, although my hair wasn't damaged for some reason, like I probably cut maybe about four to five, maybe about four inches or so off. And it was just so freeing. Like, it just felt like I was getting rid of like dead weight. And I don't know, I just, I feel like me again. And honestly, like if I had to wear my hair in a bob for the rest of my life, I would be totally happy with that. I love bobs. I think they're so edgy. They have so much personality and it's just, I don't know, like you can do so much with them. They're so cute. So back to a bob. I hope y'all love it. Here's the hair color. I'm going to insert some clips so you can really see how it looks because it's kind of, it's very subtle. So when I'm inside, it doesn't really look that bright. Um, but when I'm outside, this is how it looks. It's very light. You can really see the color. This is how it came out. I apologize because I did not record every single step that I took to get this hair color. Number one, I was extremely focused. And when I'm focused on my hair, nothing else matters. Like I don't even think about anything else. Two, I've been in this like really weird recording funk lately. I feel like I'm experiencing a lot of burnout and I really apologize because I know that I said I was gonna start being consistent and uploading on certain days, but I am just, I'm burnt out right now. Um, and that's just the honest truth. I'm really trying to find the passion behind it again. I, I love hair, like hair, I'm still very passionate about hair, but I don't always have to record it for me to be passionate about it, if that makes sense. So I'm just trying to find the energy, the time, and all that good stuff to get back in front of the camera and be able to edit and upload and all that stuff. So I appreciate y'all for bearing with me. People are still subscribing to my channel. So thank you guys to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. But Anyways, okay, so let's get to the purpose of this video. Like I said, I did not record all the steps, so I'm going to walk you guys through how I got this specific hair color right here. So please pay attention. I'm going to link everything in the description box below, so make sure you check that out if you're looking for something specific. And of course, you know, you can always ask me questions if you are still confused or still have some questions about anything. Let me try to get closer to the light to see if y'all can really get an idea. Let me see if I can focus. So it's kind of like a cherry Coke, burgundy color. And like, if I lift up my hair, it's like really light underneath, which was honestly accidental. That was accidental. I didn't mean to do it like super light underneath. Let me just start from the beginning. So what happened, here's how I got to where I'm at now. So. I, you're not gonna need to do all these steps, okay? The reason I had to do all these steps is because my hair was really dark before. I've been dyeing my hair black since I was in high school and all those years of depositing such a dark color makes it very hard for you to lift your hair when it's time to lift it or when you wanna lift it. I've been growing my black color out probably for about a year now and it was pretty much all out except for in the front. So I think sometime last year, and this is very dumb of me. I don't know why I did this because my whole purpose of growing my hair out was to be able to color it soon. Um, but apparently sometime last year, I put some black color in the top, probably to match like some weave or something. And so this part right here is what really gave me a really hard time. That's also why it's a little bit darker here than it is in the back. My back was brown. My back was pretty much back to my normal hair color, but up front, it was still dark. It was still black. So everything lifted except for up here. Starting with the L'Oreal high color highlights, right? Like, I don't know if y'all familiar, I'll insert a picture right here. Of course, also it will be linked in the description below. I started with the L'Oreal high color because I didn't want to bleach my hair, right? So L'Oreal high color is a permanent hair color, but it's not bleach. So I think all color, all permanent hair color at some point has something in it that we really shouldn't be using, but it's a little less harsh than bleach. So that's why I wanted to go that route. 
L'Oreal High Color is also made for dark hair. So if you have really dark hair and you're trying to lift it, it's supposed to be formulated just for that reason. So I went with L'Oreal High Color in the color Light Auburn. And I did Light Auburn because initially I wanted to be brown. I've never done brown before. I've done like some variations of red like back in college, but never done brown before. I was like, I wanna do something different. I'm gonna do like a very light, but like rich, chocolate like a light chocolate almost kind of and that just didn't work out um all right so i'm inserting a clip of when i went in with the first attempt at the l'oreal high color in the color light auburn so this was my natural hair before i ever colored it this is what it looks like you can see it still looks pretty dark but in the back it was light so I'm just gonna go through, separate my hair in small sections and begin to apply the L'Oreal High Color. You wanna apply your first coat about an inch away from your roots because your roots are considered virgin hair um, and they will process the fastest. So the biggest mistake you can make is to apply this to every inch of your strand, including your roots all at once because you are going to have hot red roots and the rest of your hair is gonna be really dark. So don't do that, sis. Um, make sure you apply this first about an inch away from your roots and then once you're done with this coat You're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes or so and then you're gonna go back and apply it to the rest of your roots Okay, so I have no idea what I'm talking about right here. Um, I think maybe I'm saying that you can kind of start to see it pull through or eat through the black just a little bit right here. Um, but ultimately, this is applied an inch away from my scalp. So I'm just going to go through and just kind of massage it through just to make sure all the strands are evenly coated. Like I said, I believe the instruction said to leave it on for about 10 minutes before you apply it to your roots. Um, so now I'm going back through and applying it to my roots. So I'm literally coating everything this time. Now I believe the instructions called for this to be left on your, your hair for 30 minutes. Um, I never know if they mean 30 minutes after you're completely done or 30 minutes from the time that you start applying. But whatever it is, I'm hard headed so I let it sit on for 10 minutes longer than what they said to let it sit on it's weird though because now that i'm looking back over this footage i see that like the studs of it or whatever you want to call it they're kind of like red they have like a reddish tint um and also if you look at my towel my towel has a reddish tint to it as well so that's kind of weird considering this color was actually the light auburn one and not the red one so i don't know why it's doing that but anyways um that's the process for the l'oreal high color i do believe i use the 30 volume I think that's what the instructions called for. Uh, L'Oreal makes their own brand of developers, so I just grabbed that one and mixed it with the high color color. It was 
just, I don't know, I feel like browns in, I'm not that good with color. So if you're good with color, you probably won't have an issue. But browns, in my opinion, are very hard to achieve, especially if you have dark hair and you're trying to go to brown. Because um, sometimes you'll have to use like toners and things like that. And I just didn't feel like doing all that. And also, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really like the way brown sits on my skin tone. Like, I feel like brown doesn't really do much for me. It kind of washes me out. So I wasn't feeling the brown. After I did the L'Oreal High Color in Light Auburn, um, I did that twice, actually, because the first time I did it, it didn't really pull up all the way. So I did go ahead and do it again. Another important step to, to consider when you're coloring your hair, make sure you know your hair right my hair is pretty strong it can take a lot of things without being damaged so after i did it the first time i assessed my hair of course and then i went in with the l'oreal high color again for a second time in the same day and my hair was fine that pulled it up a little bit more so after i decided i didn't want the brown anymore i went in with an adore rinse if y'all know y'all know adore is that girl here's the rinse that i use in the color burgundy envy and my hair was just really, I liked it at first, but something was off. Like it wasn't really what I was trying to achieve. And I am such a perfectionist when it comes to my hair. If it's not right, it's going to bother me every time I look in, in the mirror until I get it right. So I was like, yeah, no, this ain't right. We gotta fix it. I think I felt like it was still dark on the ends. Like I still had some black color kind of on my ends. So I decided to go in with color oops, okay? Here's color oops. This did absolutely nothing for my hair, which I see a lot of people say it doesn't work. I see some people say it does work. Color Oops has very specific instructions. So after you apply it, you have to shampoo it and then rinse your hair for like 20 minutes. Why sis? I don't know. Apparently, if you don't follow the steps to a T, it will not work for you. I thought I did follow the steps to a T. Maybe there was something I missed. I don't know. So after I did the Color Oops, I went back in with L'Oreal High Color Highlights again, but this time in the color Magenta. This also did absolutely nothing. After I did the L'Oreal High Color for the third time, I made sure to go in with some kind of deep conditioning. Um, Cause like I said, my hair didn't feel damaged, but I just wanted to make sure it would be fine. So this is actually what I used. This is the, let's focus on it a bit. This is the Wella Fusion Plex Mask. It's best to really go in with a protein mask. I don't know if this is protein. It says intense repair mask and it has amino acids. I don't know. I know amino acids are like some variation of protein or they create pro. I, I don't know. But I don't know if that means this is a protein treatment. I don't know. But this is what I had under my counter. So I just went ahead and used this, left this on for a couple of minutes and rinsed it out. After I was done with that, the final thing that I did was I went back to the beauty supply store and found the KISS brand of semi-permanents, um, the KISS brand is called Temptation. I've actually never seen this. I don't know how long it's been out. I was looking at the swatches and I found a swatch that they had that more closely matched. Here was my inspo picture. This is what I was trying to achieve. So I felt like the KISS semi-permanent more closely matched what I was actually trying to achieve. And so the color rinse that I got was called Red Velvet. This is it right here. And that is what I put on my hair to achieve this color. It looks really dark on camera and I hate that. I wish y'all could really see the true color of it. Yeah, so that was the last step I did. That gave me this color. Honestly, I was still bothered by this color because I wanted everything to be all the same color. Like the color that it is underneath, I wanted my entire head to be that color. So I called my mom. I'm like, look, here's everything I did. These permanent colors are not eating through that black. I think at this point, I'm gonna have to bleach it. And so I was going to do that, and this was before I got my hair cut. And she was like, wait, let's just cut it and see how much of the black we can actually get out of it. And then you do that, like if you still feel like you need to proceed. So I was like, let's cut it first. So that's what I did. And then after I cut it, I just kind of fell in love with it. Like she recorded a video outside of her salon after we were done. And in the sun, I was like, this color is just so perfect. Like, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. I don't think I need to change it. I don't need to bleach it. I didn't want to bleach it anyway because bleach is harsh. And so my conclusion is that I'm not going to bleach it. Although in, a, in places, it does bother me a little bit because it's not as bright as I want it to be. Like, I want people to be like, 
oh wow you've changed your hair color i feel like right now it's not really giving that it, it looks more tinted but when i'm outside it's really bright so i think i'm just gonna be okay with that for now i do like the subtle color because i do work in corporate america and y'all know as black people unfortunately it can be a little bit uncomfortable when you do a dramatic change to your hair so because it's subtle it kind of makes me feel a little bit more comfortable this is probably my favorite thing that I've done to my hair so far. The color is just chef's kiss. Like I said, when I'm out in the sun, like it just looks so good. This cut is super fire. My mom definitely did her thing. It's springtime, summertime's approaching, and I just, I feel like that girl right now. So I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys love it as well. Everything that I use is gonna be linked in the description below. Now remember, these steps are what I had to do because my hair was so dark. If you don't have that problem, if your hair is just like a dark brown or virgin hair, you don't have to do all those steps. Only thing you'll probably have to do is use the L'Oreal High Color whether you wanna go brown or red one time and that's it. That's all you need to do. And then if you still don't like the tone that you get after that, you can go back in with a semi-permanent. A semi-permanent is not as harsh, not nearly as harsh as a permanent color in case you don't know that. A semi-permanent is more of just like, it's like a tint. It's like a color deposit that you just put on your hair. Eventually it'll rinse out quicker than a permanent hair color would, but a rinse is a very easy and less harsh way to get your color exactly the color you want it to be. So just keep that in mind. Do not follow all the steps that I had to do. I did do a lot. I essentially colored my hair three times, um, even though it was a, wasn't that harsh of a color. I did color my hair three times, so I don't want y'all to do that because you probably don't need that. So just keep that in mind. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment. I don't always respond right away because I do 10,000 things, but I do eventually like try my best to catch up and respond and help you guys out. So yeah, um, I hope you guys love my cut. I hope you love the color. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The tape and removal video is coming. It's gonna come after this one. I promise y'all, I've had people ask me for that video for a long time now, it's coming. I just wanted to go ahead and upload this one because I just posted a video of this color on TikTok and Instagram. And it's gotten so many comments and questions about how I achieve this color. So I wanted to go ahead and put this one out first. And then the tape and removal video, I promise y'all, is coming right after this. Sorry that I keep doing this, y'all. I'm like <laughs> looking in the camera trying to see if my red is like shining through at all. So that's why I'm like back and forth like door the explorer thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye